Hi, I'm Kevin Coop, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. So, you want more evidence about the power of social media? You don't have to look any farther than the case of Tommy Jordan, a North Carolina man who, when faced with what he viewed as being really inappropriate behavior by his 15-year-old daughter, quite literally went ballistic. Um, you may have seen the video. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you have. Because at this point, as I'm recording this, more than 23 million people have seen the video on YouTube. Basically what happened was this. Um, I guess that uh, Tommy Jordan's daughter put on her Facebook page, thinking her father would not see it, a diatribe about her parents criticizing the way that she felt they were raising him. I guess they were actually asking her to do chores and things like that. Well, Tommy Jordan was uh, doing some work on his daughter's laptop, helping her out, spending a little money, upgrading it, and he saw this diatribe. And, well, he was a little annoyed. So what he did is he set up his own computer, and he recorded a video in which he read out loud the diatribe that his daughter had written about them. He answered the diatribe point for point, and then he went over to his daughter's laptop, and he put nine bullets into the laptop and he did it with a certain amount of regret but he said listen I don't know what else to do so this is what I'm going to do now let me repeat 23 million people plus have seen that video to this point and a lot of them think that Tommy Jordan is like their hero probably because they have teenage daughters that are a little frustrated now you're gonna have to judge for yourself how you feel about it and I will post the link to the YouTube video on the text version of, uh, of this story. Now, listen, I'm a little sympathetic to Tommy Jordan's position. I have a 17-year-old daughter. Um, and I know what it's like to sometimes deal with teenage girls. I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest with you, that public humiliation of one's daughter is necessarily the right way to go. That said, having heard the profanity-laden uh, things she wrote her, about her parents, I'm also reasonably sure that she should feel at least a little bit lucky that he only shot the laptop. Uh, it also seems pretty clear to me that there's a lot of there's a lot of history going on here. Uh, there's a complicated backstory, and I think it's gotten a lot more complicated with what's happened here. But again, can you imagine? 23 million people have seen this thing. For better or for worse, this family's life and their troubles is now on public display. It's there for all the world to see. Tommy Jordan used social media to turn their life into a kind of reality show. And now he's going to have to live with the long-term and the short-term implications of that decision. Now, I really hope that Tommy Jordan knows what he's doing. I hope that this is a kind of tough love that's going to work for their family. I hope it really works out for their daughter. I hope this family finds happiness. I hope they're able to survive this very, very public turmoil. And I hope they're able to do it in part or despite the fact that now 23 million plus people are paying attention. And that's really tough. That is the power of social media. And that's what's on my mind this Thursday morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.